No, I'm slightly late to this update. I think maybe one, one and a half days to, late to this. But anyways, Roblox has added age restrictions or age uh, recommendations to games. This update has gone down quite controversially with some developers. And we'll talk about that in this video. What is the age rating system? Now, developers can now basically set which ages their games are for. So horror games and kind of older games that should be played by uh, older accounts can be set to 13 plus and games that are universally available to everyone like, you know, Brookhaven, Adopt Me, those sorts of games, they can be set to everyone. This is basically just to recommend if there's a horror game on Roblox and there's uh, someone under 13 who wants to play it, I'm not sure if it doesn't let them play the game or if it kind of alerts them not to play the game or something like that. Basically, it's just to stop um, people playing games that they don't really want to play. Parents can now set uh, Roblox accounts so their children can only play games of certain age categories, so they can't play older shooter games, let's say. If you want to find the age restrictions, all you have to do is click on a game on the Roblox homepage, and just below the description, it will come up with an age rating. On Twitter, I've seen a mixed response from developers uh, regarding this. A lot of developers said that when Roblox uh, introduced this, like yesterday, their player count dropped significantly by a couple thousand players, and this was most likely when the age restrictions was updated. Um, and some games, Roblox actually implemented uh, like 13 plus on games that could be played for anyone so um, some developers like this some don't I think it's a good idea from a player's point of view so we can actually see what age rating games are especially for younger audiences but these may actually have an impact on the player count of some games games can actually set their own age ratings all they need to do is go into the game settings and they'll be able to set the age rating an update that accompanied this is also that they removed the owner of the game so if you go to the game it no longer has the owner or the group owner of the game underneath the game name, which I'm not the biggest fan on, mainly because if I'm checking out a new game and I want to join their group quickly, it's a lot harder to find their group than just clicking on the link below their uh, game name. So let me know what you think of this update here. It probably won't affect many people because many people probably won't pay too much attention to these age ratings. Roblox are now implementing a lot of updates that they announced in the Roblox Developers Conference a couple of days ago. And we should have some more Roblox updates coming to the website, coming to the app, all coming within the next couple of days. Also, this age rating feature is available on mobile and tablet devices. Anyways, have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.